to understand using the Taguchi design, we will conduct an experiment where the scenario is the manufacturer of the brick. Here, just to understand the process better, we have a digger which digs the clay and the digged clay is then put to the metal grid and after that the big size clay is broken down into the smaller size which is then rolled through the roller and after that we add sand and water to the mixture of the clay and then we put some dummy suppose the dummy is mud which has nothing to do with the compressive strength of the brick but just to add the volume and after that we pass the whole mixture through this mold and after putting the mixture on the mold the shape of the brick can be obtained we then place the bricks inside the drying oven, dry it for 24 to 48 hours. And then we transfer those bricks to the furnace where the bricks are smelted in a very high temperature. That means the bricks are kept for a long time, uh, say about two weeks in a very high temperature. And then they are passed through the cooling chamber and finally they are packed and sent for the delivery. So here, more than the manufacturing process itself, one thing to understand is to find out the controllable and uncontrollable factors. Controllable factors are those factors which are in our control and which we can increase or decrease. So here, the controllable factors may be the composition of the clay, composition of the sand and composition of the water. The rest are the dummy material which are just added to make up the bottom is not taken in consideration here. We can change the amount of clay, sand and water. So these are the controllable factors here. But we cannot set the exact temperature in the furnace because it is very very difficult once the furnace is set up. So it is uncontrollable factors. The lower temperature of the furnace might be 200 degrees centigrade and the higher temperature can go up to 1300 degrees centigrade. But we cannot exactly tweak or we say we can exactly set the temperature to be around say 870 degrees centigrade. So in that case as these are just the lowermost and the highest value and we cannot exactly set the temperature as per our will. This is uncontrollable factors. And uncontrollable factors are also called the noise factors. And again, another uncontrollable factors is the time of this heat treatment. Suppose we keep the bricks inside this furnace in a very high temperature for about a month. After that, we put the bricks in a cooling chamber for about 48 to 72 hours. Because particularly in this experiment, we cannot go and take out the brick every two or three days or as per our will. We have to wait for exactly one month. It is not in our control. So time of heat treatment is also considered to be here uncontrollable factors or the noise factor. The same information about the controllable and uncontrollable factors are given here. Uh, the controllable factors are sand percentage, water volume and clay percentage. And the uncontrollable factors or the noise factors are the for temperature of the furnace and time of heat treatment. Temperature of the furnace can be set at moderate or low temperature or to very high temperature. And also the time of heat treatment might be short or it might be long. We cannot exactly set the definite time and temperature for the heat treatment. But while designing the experiment, we can select how much sand we can mix to make the brick, uh, water volume, or uh, say clay percentage, etc. So these are the controllable factors. And these factors are ultimately affecting the compressive strength of the brick. That means how much pressure the brick can withstand Generally, the compressive strength of the brick is between 3.5 Newton per millimeter square to around 140 to 150 Newton per millimeter square. But we are not interested over that uh, information here. What we are interested in is trying to make the brick which can withstand the highest pressure or highest compressive strength. So to do that, we can do the Taguchi design. You may have a question why we selected particularly the Taguchi design because Taguchi design can take control of the controllable factors so that the effect of the uncontrollable factors are minimized and we get the highest quality of the product or we get the desired result. To do the Taguchi experiment, we go to the stat, uh, we click the design of experiment and we click the Taguchi and then we click the select Taguchi design. So here, we have type of design and the number of factors. See here, there are five number of factors. 
that means sand percentage, water volume, clay percentage, and temperature of the furnace, and time of the heat treatment. But while setting up the Taguchi design, we always have to see only the controllable factors. So there are three controllable factors with three levels, low, medium, and high. Low, medium, and high. And for the clay percentage also, low, medium, and high. So there are three levels and three controllable factors. So we select three level with three number of factors. We click the design. We see here that we can do the L9 means nine runs and L27 are 27 runs. The run means how many times we have to conduct the experiment. Suppose for the sake of understanding, I will try to make it much easier and I will do the experiments. So I will select the L9 here and click on OK. And then I click the factors and in the factors name ABC, let us suppose I write the sand, water and clay. After that, we need not do anything. We directly press the OK button. So Minitab generates these data over here. So what does this mean? This means that Minitab is asking us to do the experiment by putting the sand in one level, water in one level, clay in one level. Now, what does that mean? That means we keep the five parts of the sand, five parts of the water and 50 parts of the clay. So here 5, 5 and 50 are the parameters for the level 1. Similarly, we select the parameters according to the level 1, level 2 and 2 and we manufacture the brick and after the whole process is over, we find the compressive strength. We have other two noise factors as well. So what were the noise factors? The noise factors were the temperature of the furnace and time of the heat treatment. So this may have the any combination. Suppose we took 5 parts by sand, 5 parts by water, 50 parts by clay. But we may do the experiment in a high temperature and for a long period of time. Or we may do the experiment in a high temperature but on a lesser time period. Or we may conduct the experiment for a longer period of time but in a lower temperature. Or we may have the condition to take the lower temperature of the furnace and for a lower period of time and conduct the experiment. So we will have the four options. At the first condition, both the noise factors were taken into consideration. The second experiment given on the column C5 was conducted uh, in the condition where the temperature was high but the time of treatment was low. Similarly, C6 means the temperature was low but the time of heat treatment was high. In the C7 column, the uncontrollable factors or the noise factors are set in such a condition that both time and temperature of the heat treatment is low. So these are actually the results of the compressive strength. So these are all the experimental results after doing the final experiment. So what we are exactly interested in is finding out in which condition we will get the maximum compressive strength. So for that, we have to analyze this Taguchi design. For that, we go to the stat, we go to the design of experiment, go to the Taguchi and click the analyze Taguchi design. We have to select all these data here in the response data are in. We can select this, then this, then this, and then the last one. After all these are set up, we can go to the graphs. Uh, we do not need the means chart. We are just interested in signal to noise ratio that I'll explain to you later. Click on OK. We click the analyze. Nothing to change. We click the terms. Nothing to change. We click the options. Here this one particularly is important. Suppose if we want the compressive strain to be as large as possible or as high as possible, we select signal to noise ratio as large is better. This is what we want the result to be. If we want the final result to be higher or larger, we select this one. If we wanted to select lowest compressive strength, then we should have selected that the smaller is better term. Uh, we select this nominal is waste and nominal is waste value when we want to select the exact value uh, of the compressive strength that we want. We are not interested over these here. We are just interested in the maximum response that is larger is better. So we tick larger is better. And then in the storage we should select this signal to noise ratio and means and then click OK. Click the OK. The mini tab automatically returns us the signal to noise ratio and the mean value. 
here in the main effects plot for signal to noise ratio you see that for getting the bricks of maximum compressive strength we have to take the sign with the three level of factors three level of factors means 35 parts by sign two parts of water and two parts of clay that means 35 parts are three level of sign two level are 15 parts by water and two level are 70 parts by the clay so from this main effects plot only we could know how the level of different factors should be selected so as to get the maximum response which is in our case the compressive strength we can further predict the Taguchi results for that we go to the stat design of experiment Taguchi design and predict Taguchi results now in this predict Taguchi result you can just select the mean and signal to noise and then we have to click the level and after that uh, we should select the select levels from the list so from the main effects result we saw that the maximum compressive strength could be found at the three levels of the sand two levels of the water and two levels of the clay and we click the ok and then we click the ok again so what it shows is that the maximum signal to noise ratio we can get is 44.99 and the maximum compressive strength that we can obtain while setting the sand at three level water at two level and clay at two level is 116.6 newton per millimeter square that means if we set these control level factors at these levels of composition we can get the maximum compressive strength of 116.6 newton per millimeter square so we have two information here to diminish any effect of the uncontrollable factors we should select the controllable factors in this composition and the maximum compressive strength is also calculated by the Taguchi method